You got your Prada shoes on. I got my Prada shoes on. Okay. Don't you can buy one? No, these are Gina. Gina? Yeah. Uh-huh. Sorry. Red right and <laughs> How are you? I mean, it's such a great honor. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? I'm you're, fine. You look absolutely stunning. Wow. Really? Me too. Beautiful. I mean, I, I've never seen you live, so, I mean, it's a great honor to see you. And first of all, I need to tell you that I grew up in a small town mm -hmm. called Albogazio mm -hmm. in Italy. There was only a lake. Mm -hmm. A mountain, one road, mm -hmm. on the borders of Switzerland, so you can imagine that's a pretty boring place. Mm -hmm. And with your image on my wall. Really? I grew up with your face on my wall, so it's, I'm so thrilled to have you here. Oh, thank you. That's very flattering. But anyway, no, I know you don't have much time, so I want to get down to the nitty gritty. Yeah. <laughs> so, can we talk about your film? Could you tell the viewers what it's about? Um, it's a love story, and it's about an unconventional family. It's about best friends that um, decide to have a child together, and everything that goes right and wrong with the situation. And it's really true, and it, sometimes it's funny, and sometimes it's sad. Okay, we interviewed also Rupert Heaven, so mm -hmm. we're going to go and see him now. This, I'm just going to talk in Italian for the Italian Okay, viewers. okay. Quindi ci vediamo Rupert Heaven, poi siamo andati dietro al consiglio di Next Best Film, e poi torniamo qui sempre con Madonna. You started in this film, and you've probably received so many scripts. I mean, you must be receiving loads and loads and loads. Yeah. And so, what attracted you to this one? Well, uh, several things. I, I was attracted to the idea of playing an ordinary person in a movie because usually when I, when I make films, I, I'm always doing parts that are bigger than life, larger mm -hmm. than life, and extraordinary people um, or famous people mm -hmm. or other icons, whatever. And I was attracted to the idea of playing a normal, ordinary person. Down to it. Yes. Yeah. And I have to say that came across quite well because mm. for a certain, you know, I, I know you're Madonna, but when I actually saw the film, I, I sort of forgot, you know, mm -hmm. you actually seem like a real normal person. I mean, you you are a normal person because I'm talking to you. Yeah, but I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, okay, I didn't get it across <laughs> quite well, but sorry, it's just that I'm really a bit nervous. <laughs> anyway, yeah, and so do you think that this film or films, movies in general, can change the point of view of people that watch it, you know, maybe they have a certain idea about things and that you're, you're showing the image of an unconventional family. And I hope so. don't approve, so do you think that? Yeah, I mean, I think if, if people start to be more open and accepting of families that are different, then to me, I mean, that's one of the great things about doing this film. In addition to, as an actress, it was a different thing for me to, to do, but just, you know, socially and culturally what you know what this movie could mean if people really allow themselves to watch the film and and be open about it you know then if, if it changes a few people's minds about being more open and tolerant then that's a good thing good okay adesso ci vediamo invece Hawking e poi torniamo qui sempre con la grandissima l'unica l'inimitabile la bellissima non so cosa altro dire madonna thank you <laughs> okay you got that you yeah got that. <laughs> Professore Vera di Rubin Carter. But you, in the past, you used to wear a t-shirt in the 80s with Italians do it better. Mm -hmm. And recently, you starred in a commercial with Raul Bova, mm -hmm. Italian. Mm -hmm. So would you say Italians kiss better? Um, not necessarily. Not necessarily. <laughs> um, but um, they're not bad. Not bad. Not bad. They're up there in the top five. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Right. No, because another thing, when I, I spoke with him and he said that he was so nervous. Oh, okay. Raul. Raul. Mm -hmm. And he kept doing the... Okay, to check his breath. No, he did. I never saw that. Yeah, he, he, no, kept he didn't have bad breath. He did have bad breath. No, he didn't. And do you ever do it sometimes when you, you know, you do loads of kissing? No. Like that. No. 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 Okay. Ci fermiamo e torniamo dopo pochissimo. Weekend Rocks. Abbiamo anche un regalo per te. Robert viene a vivere da me. Cresceremo il bambino insieme. Rupert Everett. Tu sei l'unica donna al mondo che io vorrei essere. Madonna. Perché non donna in camera di mamma? Sai che c'è di nuovo? Giampi. Internet a modo mio. MTV Presenta.
with that. And another thing is, you, you start with Luke in, in the film, and he's one of your greatest friends. Mm. And how was it working with him? It was great. He's uh, really easygoing on the set, and he's naturally funny. And it never felt when we were... I'm going to be Nash. <laughs> um, when, when we had to do crime scenes, he was really supportive of me, and when we did funny scenes, that never felt like we were working, so, and I learned a lot from him as an actress. Okay. Okay, that's a trivia, I'm going to be in the hotel.